Hi Pisces, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your ta-da weekly reading. I have started doing the uh, readings during the week in addition to the Friday readings as well. So my schedule is as follows. Monday I'm doing releasing earth sign videos. Tuesday the water signs. Wednesday fire and then Thursday air and like I said on Friday you guys still get your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome and ready for the holiday season for those of you who are celebrating the holidays. So let's see what God Angels Universe has for you my lovely Pisces. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at Scorpio. Scorpio keeps showing up. This four of wands been this four of wands then came out in the last three readings I did. Uh-oh, we got the nine of swords worrying. Somebody feels like they're about to lose it. Oh no. I hope it's not you, Pisces. Okay, let us see what do we have. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody feel like doing all this, angels. <sighs> Four swords. Look at that. That just came in Scorpio's reading, too. These two cards right here. And you know what's crazy? I said in the Scorpio reading, I was like, listen, if you meet a Pisces, do not let them go. And look at Pisces. You got Scorpio in your reading. Libra also Pisces. If you do you have a Scorpio you're dealing with, you're struggling with? <laughs> Look, I already know because I'm a Scorpio myself. But all right. Yeah, I promise you, Pisces. Yeah, the Page of Cups came in Scorpio's reading too. The the chariot came up too. All right, Alex, let's go. Let's go. Pisces, you're dealing with a Scorpio, and Scorpio's dealing with a Pisces. All right, guys, what do we have? We got the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords, right? Somebody's healing, somebody's ready and stable and have healed and are ready for this relationship. The Four of Wands is the marriage card, right? This is a card of stability. That's the card of celebration. That's the card of achievement. It's almost like, all right, I'm ready for this. I want this. I want you, baby, right? And somebody has just come out of a dark cycle. Um, this is uh, the air signs, which is um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So you could be dealing with one of those Pisces as well, right? Um, I just hear, I want you. I want you, right? Um, you have the magician here, which, which is Mercury. And then you also have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sag. This is karmic, right? Now, I don't mean karmic as in, oh, this is a karmic cycle or this is a karmic relationship. I mean that this is destiny. This is you, this is what you wanted. This is what you manifested. If you didn't manifest this person, this person manifested you and the universe gave it gave uh, signed off on it, right? The universe stamped and approved it. Okay? With this wheel of fortune, this is a card of good things happening and fortune and destiny and you know, just kind of things, say, for instance, going your way. I hear somebody saying, well, thank you, Jesus. It's about time, right? Because I was tired of dealing with all these knuckleheads, right? So I just kind of feel like, yes, Pisces is like, damn it. After all of this time, things are finally going your way. Now, the thing about the magician card, too, that I need to mention as well is that this is a card of manipulation, right? So Pisces, um, you, you, you're the person who manifested this. You're the person, because I see, you know, I don't, I don't think this is like verbatim. Like, I don't think it's really what, um, is really what happened, but I see somebody like taking and bending and, you know, it's almost like all of the people that you've dated up until this point, you've carved and molded this new person that you want into who you want them to be based on all of the people that you did not want right so um that's what i get exactly from the magician card now you have 
Chancellor here with the chariot, and then you have the Page of Cups, which is a water sign like yourself, Pisces, along with Cancer and Scorpio. So somebody is coming in to bring you bring you this cup of love. This could be your Scorpio. I'm just saying, right? Somebody's coming in and they're moving in fast. They're very, being very positive. Angels are almost even saying to me too, they're coming in just how you need them to come in, right? Whatever is going to make you comfortable, whatever is going to make you say, for instance not get triggered, not get, you know, up in arms, not throw your defenses up. This person is just going to kind of quote unquote slide on in with that cup. And, you know, angels just said to me too, it's going to be a smooth transition. So if this is you Pisces, as an example, healing or finally getting over past pain or past hurt, this person comes in so far below the radar. It's like all of a sudden, you know, I could hear some of you even saying, I don't even know how we got here. Like, say, for instance, three to six months into your relationship, I can hear somebody saying, I don't even know how we got here. I don't even know. It was almost like they just appeared. You know, all of a sudden, we just started liking each other. We started going out and boom, we're here. Right? Now, with the Seven of Cups and then also the Three of Wands, this is something that you've been waiting for for a long time. For a lot of you guys, you probably felt like you, you were never going to get it. You were never going to get here. You know, very few of you even could have felt like you didn't deserve it or um, just didn't believe in it, right? Like you absolutely did not believe that it was possible. You know, and with the Three of Wands, he's waiting for his ships to come in, you know? And the Seven of Cups is a lot of options, a lot of choices, but it's almost like there are seven, they're not the Ace of Cups. Or neither are they any, well, this is the Ace of Cups here. And the, 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 um, page the knight the queen and the king all possess and hold the ace of cups you know the page is delivering messages from that ace of cups the knight is bringing in the love and moving in the love and being consistent the queen is being nurturing and loving and then the king is also you know giving direction and you know setting goals for the relationship and maybe um yeah setting goals for the relationship right so it's almost like that ace of cups you know, passes through all of those hands, um, to get to the point of bliss and happiness, right? Well, with the seven of cups, not so much, right? The seven of cups, yes, it's seven whole cups, but they all possess like different things. So this a lot of times represents being scattered emotionally or having a lot of emotional, uh, a lot of options. However, all of those options may not be filled. Not only that, but those some of those cups may not could be compatible with your cups, Pisces. That's why I said to you too, all of those great loves or loves that you've had in the past that did not work out, it's almost like this per new person is coming in. And again, they're coming in as the Ace of Cups being carried by this page, right? So it's almost like don't confuse this cup here with any of those cups either. Right. And definitely with the three of wands, this definitely is something that you've been waiting for, Pisces. Um, it almost even feels like a lifetime, believe it or not. Now, again, here's Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio coming in for a lot of you. You could have Scorpio in your chart. OK, Scorpio, I think right now or recently was in Venus. So this kind of says to me, you know, with this tower card, that's both of you guys not necessarily knowing where neither of you came from. You know, you could have like this chance meeting, God forbid, God forbid, but watch out Pisces. You guys could physically collide with each other as an accident, bumping into each other, one person falling on the other one, but it feels you could physically bump into each other. Okay. So just be careful out there. Okay. Now at the same time with this nine of wands, excuse me, nine of swords, and then also the justice nine of swords and then also the justice card um that's just basically saying you know whether this is you or your person i kind of feel like this is your person or the person you're about to meet i do kind of feel like yeah to an extent they're about to give up i also feel like they had no intentions or plans on meeting you or anybody else angels just said to me too that's exactly how you know this is your person when you meet them because I feel like in one of your conversations, they're, they're going to say to you, you know what? I never expected to meet you. You know, I was just off on my own, minding my business. Yeah, I would date every now and then, but this was completely unexpected. Pisces, that's exactly how you know that this is your person. Okay? 
So guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. These readings are going to be just a little bit shorter than the Friday readings, but I hope it does resonate. Um, what I'm also hearing for you, Pisces, as well, is as you are circulating about throughout the world, go ahead and let your guard down, because I do kind of feel like whatever this collision is, it cannot happen and won't happen if your guards are up, okay? Now, am I saying to you, you know, bump into somebody or God forbid, crash your vehicle or anything like that? Hell no, of course not. That makes no sense. But, you know, what angels just brought to me too is that you guys could both be shopping and you're not paying attention to each other and your carts hit, right? So, and by the way, Pisces, if this does happen for you, please leave me a message um, with confirmation. All right, guys? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you the very best, Pisces. Love you. Bye.